And there's even been a change in your own household with this regard. A very touching detail that you mention in the new book is that your mom has only recently yes. learned to read and write. Your mom, who is here with us somewhere tonight. Um, <laughs> So first of all, congratulations on learning to read and write well into adulthood. That is quite an accomplishment. And tell us a little bit about that process in your own family. What do you think finally caused your mother, after all of these years, um, to become literate? So my mother, she loves education and she wants to learn. And she found like so many difficulties in her life. In the UK, when she goes to a shop, she cannot like read the expiry date on a, on a medicine or any other thing. She cannot read the prices. So there, there are so many difficulties in her life, which we don't realize because we know it, but she realizes it. And sometimes she wants to say something, but then she realizes that she can't speak English and she cannot express it. So I think this language, uh, English language, which is now a good source of communication with people all, all around the world because now everyone is learning it. So now she finds this difficulty to speak in English and to communicate with other people. But um, uh, she is learning. She wants to learn. She wants to get education. She goes to school five days a week and um, she does her homework. <laughs> And she has brought her homework with her uh, for this holiday. And <laughs> so we sit together and she learns that my name is this and then I have three children and uh, Malala and Atal. And then sometimes I ask like, who is the best? And she says like, so I'm trying to teach her to say like Malala is the best and the others are <laughs> not. But she, she understands it. So she says like all are equal. <laughs> so you have a thesis that when women get education, opportunities open for them, their lives change for the better. What change have you noticed in your own mother since she learned to read and write? And by the way, if she wants to answer the question herself, I, I, don't, I don't want to ask you to speak for her. <laughs> Would you like to answer? Yes, that's why you have to do it. Would you like to answer? Introduce, introduce yourself, please. So she says that now she can like, she's now able to read the expiry date on medicine. She can uh, read like the price of things that she buys. She uh, can now communicate better and uh, she can even send messages. <laughs> <laughs> so, and she can use a mobile phone as well. She has an iPhone, so that's good. <laughs> Which my father sometimes gets scared. <laughs> uh, and uh, would you like to say something about yourself, your name, please? In English. <laughs> My name is Torpekai. I'm from Pakistan. My name is Torpekai. I'm from Pakistan. I have three children. <laughs> Who is the best?
Thank you so much, and congratulations. <laughs> and there's been another change in your household as well, which is you say in the book that really for the first time, your father's doing the dishes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so so my tell, father, tell he, us a little bit about that change as well. Or we can give you the mic if you want to talk about it. So my mother, she is now like learning English, becoming independent, goes to see the doctor on her own, goes to see, uh, go to the, like, the shops and markets all alone. So that's good. She's learning. On the other hand, my father is now going towards the kitchen. And uh, he makes like eggs. Uh, well, he cannot like really do a lot of cooking, but he like brings plates to the table and bring cups and then put jam and butter and those things. And so he is getting better. He he makes tea as well. <laughs> okay, this, terrific. Sorry, these things are very important for us because uh, in that uh, kind of tradition and um, in in the. Um, which we think uh, in our countries, in many parts, people think that the uh, kitchen is just a woman's job and a man's job is to go outside to earn money and he's going to the control the family. And I think this change is coming with the help of education, with the help of awareness. So our, our family shows an example to the world that how things change with the help of awareness that, that we raised in our family and with the help of the importance of education, which we realized. So my mother, now she has started going to school and my father has also realized that his only job is not just to earn money, but also help the family. And uh, my mother can also go outside and to go to the market. So I think this, this is a big change, but there are still my brothers. We, <laughs> Who, 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 who need uh, like improvement and <laughs> I think uh, they, they need to realize how important education is. I'm saying it right now because they, they, they should realize it and they should do their homework on time. They should be nice brothers. <laughs> And uh, so I, I always support democracy and I talk about freedom of speech. But when I go home, I, I, I become a dictator. <laughs> and I'm totally against any freedom or any speaking or I just, I don't believe in these things. And I say like, it's Malala's rule and it's Malala's house. No one is allowed to speak. <laughs>